Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we got the entire Zero Chill information release. They uh, did the entire special stream. It went faster than usual. Only lasted about 22 minutes. Usually, Crayola drags at like an hour and a half. I don't know. This whole month season feels like it's been kind of rushed. I feel like, in I mean, I don't mind, honestly. I prefer it being that short, but he used to spend a lot more time on that. It really feels like this year is kind of like a patch up year. Again, like Madden 20 felt, but. It is what it is. Let's move on into the stuff. So they started off with a uh, Grinch reference. You guys can read this on the screen. I'm not going to go reading you guys a story right now, but they're pretty much referencing the whole Mutt promo as the Grinch's house in his cave. But uh, first shout out to today's uh, Poodle Squad member. We got Michael Cavanaugh. Shout out to you. Thanks so much for showing support. There's a ton of stuff, guys. Before I go over everything, there's a lot of W's in terms of Zero Chill players. A lot of good players you're going to want to pick up. So definitely heading over to Mutt Reserve and pick up some coins. You guys are going to need it. I'm telling you, this packs are expensive. Coins are much better value to begin with. Use code POODLE for 15% off. The website will have holiday discounts. Make sure you're taking advantage so you guys can go ahead and pick up all these players. There's a lot. Going to be a lot. As you guys can see reference here, Charles Woodson and Derek Henry. King Henry is getting an upgrade as one of the masters here. Let's move on over. So, Chill Factor. So, based on what we learned from Chill Factor, Chill Factor is really, really good. It's going to pretty much be your ranking system for leveling up by doing zero chill missions, zero chill objectives, solo sets, packs, and so on. And for the higher your level is in Chill Factor, by the end of the promo, you do get specific rewards. So here we go. Derek Henry is one of the masters. That's really cool card art. You can see his eyes right there all popping out. Uh, we skipped over one. So here we go. Here are the chill factor rewards. So there's going to be uh, the base rewards. You get 6,700 snow, four beast foods, uh, five total sword packs, and frostbite and glacier uniforms. Then for the super rewards, which is actually really cool. Tier one, which is going to be like chill factor one probably. You get a Nat Snow Beast Fantasy Pack. That's an 84 overall card. You get to upgrade all the way up to a 93. Tier five, a free choice fantasy pack of zero chill players. Not overall choice of, by the way, so remember that. Tier 10, choice of 84 to 93 overall out of position player. Tier 15, 92 to 94 overall uh, Ghost of Madden player. So Ghost of Madden are back, out of position players are back, so everything's back. And then here, this is the tier tier 20 pack. 92 to 93 overall Nat uh, player comes contains players from the entire programs. Could be anything. So pretty much here you're getting a free Snow Beast, right? Because remember, the Snow Beast, you get enough food here to complete one, they said. So you're getting one free 93 overall. One free 93 overall. That's not two free 93 overalls. If it's choice of, you probably can get your 93 here. So that might be three 93 overalls. And then another one. And then another one. You're getting like five free players, if I'm not mistaken, right? I could be wrong. But it looks like a total of five. So remember that. We got one, two, three, four, five. So that's five total free players. Now moving on, guys. Reach chill factor one and then play a challenge to earn five, 500 snow. So challenges do unlock as you do increase your chill factor. You get them from packs, sets, and so on. So make sure you're doing that. Reach uh, tier three, then you get boost fee, uh, beast food collectibles. Reach five to get your Nat 93 overall zero chill hero fantasy pack. That's cool. Uh, this is the how the Grouch one Mup miss challenges earn up to ten chill factor collectibles. I think you can only you can max out at twenty guys, so you don't like. There's probably ways to get like fifty to sixty of them in different ways. You don't need to do all of them. Just do the ones that are easiest for you. And here we go. This is the Mr. Grouch and Muttville, which is a reference to Grinch and Whoville. And then here we go. So you can get up to a total of twenty five. It is. Okay, that's what it is. Up to a total of 25 for the zero chill sets that you complete. Then we got complete present sets, small presents, or a chill factor. Pretty much everything you do is going to be chill factor. It's going to be kind of overkill. But again, definitely cool. There's a lot of ways to get this done so you don't end up getting stuck with this. The small presents, again, like I said, we got the uh, milestones. We got complete daily objectives. As you complete them, you do get chill factor as well. Play every day. You get packs, you get chill factor. And then there's going to be EA play members that get the exclusive challenges and rewards. Now, here are the players. We got LJ Ford is one of the lower ones, Greg Van uh, Roten, Cody Whitehair, Teron Johnson, Robert Tanyan, Zach Cunningham. Those are the lower ones. Then we got Carson Wentz. Of course, he got benched today for Jalen Hurts uh, for the rest of the season, from what I read. So that's pretty much it for that. But he did get a card. The card looks decent. Bad bad accuracy all around. Uh, decent throw power. Decent athleticism, I guess. Xavier Woods, decent card. Too low of zone or man for my liking. Josh Allen, 87, uh, 89 overall for the Jaguars. Not good either. Not enough finesse move. Not enough block shed. Decent athleticism. T.Y. Hilton will not get enough thresholds for my like. Unless you put play fake on him. But a 91 speed with play fake isn't enough for me. EA play challenges. Play through these challenges. Of course, you get milestones. So here are the milestones. are actually pretty good. 50 snow, 50 snow, 50 snow. Then you skip to tier 4, 50 snow. Medium plus present pack, which is actually cool. Because the large presents are super expensive. And then we got, um, let's see. We got how the garage will up miss again. So these are the solos here. Now, for these solos, again, these are the rewards for them, which are pretty cool. 
they actually gave you a decent amount of snow 100 snow 100 snow 200 snow and then you got um 500 snow chill factor upgrade you got 700 snow 700 snow now yeah i skipped through them pretty fast because at the end of the day i mean you guys know that what they usually give you doesn't amount to a lot but these aren't bad they're not bad you're gonna get a few thousand snow probably probably i'd say anywhere between three to 10k worth of snow off all your solo challenges in general which isn't bad because 10,000 does get you a random present or a guaranteed medium or small then we got mr grouch you see here this is cave entrance nothing too crazy there i mean the solos now here's what's cool the snow beast now we do got snow we have snow beast now 84 overall out of more now you know they all started 84 you put the four beast food collectibles into them and they do end up upgrading up to a 93 overall snow beasts have always been the same nothing's gonna change there so here we go here are the stats 92 speed 93 excel 88 agility 89 jumping 91 play rec 93 man 87 zone 88 press overall i mean of course i'm not gonna make them too juiced at a 93 because we're getting them for free but chemed up and powered up he will have the zone threshold he will get up to a 99 man i believe and he will have a 93 speed so he's gonna be definitely a useful free card can't knock that jason kelsey powered up and chemed up will be an elite elite run blocker and a pretty pretty good pass blocker all around that center i care more about run blocking so kelsey always a solid option as well eddie jackson what will stand out here he's gonna have 93 speed 94 excel 99 man cover zone coverage that's all you need to know eddie jackson's gonna be an absolute goon at the safety spot definitely look at him and then lamar jackson lamar jackson probably the most exciting name so far we've seen in this promo but of course with this year it's been more of a uh more of a more of a pass heavy meta in terms of like you know brett Favre, mcnair's cold peppers but lamar's still going to get a 94 speed powered up he will have the uh the short threshold all the other thresholds on man it's gonna come down to medium or deep i guess deep accuracy you put go deep on him his throw power will get up to like a 90 I believe a 98 and his deep will get up to a 90 something or his medium it's up to you on what you prefer to upgrade there but again not having both uh thresholds is gonna hurt him next this is the uh the set picture of course zero chill then we got so we got small present random present medium hot cocoa now the random present's cool you can only do it twice though and uh it gives you a chance of small medium or large we always love the random ones of course because it's like gambling more so so the small present set it's going to be 80 to 82 overall elites two of them get you a small then you have the random ones 87 88 85 86 85 86 so on and so forth then we got the medium or bigger present so this is going to be like more of a gambling set you can get a medium or better which i kind of like because there's still a chance at a large which is kind of what we want now hot cocoa Hot Cocoa is pretty cool. So you get a frozen player and you exchange frozen players for a Hot Cocoa collectible. And then you use this collectible to thaw frozen players and unleash their full potential. Thawing a frozen player boosts its overall to 90. So overall, the set expires at 10 a.m. on January 4th. So again, 75 overall frozen players. I don't know if it gets any higher than that. Now here's someone who's really cool. This Jonu Smith has a 92 speed. Now he doesn't have a power-up, which sucks. I'm hoping they do implement the power-up for him. But if they, even if they don't, he does get the play fake threshold. If you would play fake, he gets the medium route running threshold. So he's going to be able to get a 92 speed with all the route running threshold and 92 catching catching traffic and a spec he's gonna be the best hand in the game hands down no question gonna be crazy crazy good especially with that speed definitely he's definitely a pickup and he's one of the heroes so you can actually just do the master set and get him for like really cheap kenny galladay is the other one 93 speed powered up and kept up on kenny galladay is gonna actually be super solid uh he's gonna have that but again his route running is horrible he does not he's not gonna hit any thresholds except the short and medium if you do play fake or the deep if you do go deep but again, not going to be useful because of those um, route running thresholds. James Bradbury, one of the better corners in the league this year. He can't be powered up, but he can be chemmed up. So he's going to get the man zone press threshold. But the speed's only going to be 92, which isn't bad, but I was kind of hoping to be a little better. Deion Jones is looking really good now. People haven't used linebackers all year, but Deion Jones might actually be a usable linebacker. He's going to have a 93 speed powered up, which will be arguably one of the fastest players on defense. And he gets the zone threshold as well. You can either use him. Or you could leave him alone because he's going to have a zone threshold with 93 speed in the middle of the field. And I'm pretty sure he has a decent height as well. Master Derrick Henry. Then we got the set. So the set here you see, Trout, we got uh, Zach Ertz, Odell, and I believe that's Kenyon Drake. And you do all that, you get three of them back, and then you get Derrick Henry and his power-up. So his power-up's going to start tanking if you guys are investing in that. Uh, here are the Zach Ertz stats. Again, not great. Too slow. The route running's actually not bad, but he's just too slow considering the uh, Jonah Smith we just got. But he's not actually as bad as usual. Kenyon Drake, if he had a power up, he'd probably be the best running back in the game, just off the change of direction and the 94 speed he could have had. Maybe one of the best at least. Then we got Odell Beckham Jr. Wish he was a bit faster, but he will have all the he'll have all the route running thresholds. He'll be short on probably one of the catching thresholds and have a 93 speed, so good, but not as great as usual. Now Derrick Henry finally has a good card. Derrick Henry will have a 93 speed, powered up and chemed up. He'll have a 93 speed, he'll have like a, probably either a 99 break tackle or a truck, depending on what if you use power run zone run now change of direction is low but that derrick henry looks good 
And remember guys, he has high strength and he's gonna have good height and body size and it's typically tends to fall over because of the, uh, the frame he has. Then we get the Charles Woodson set and then we got Geno Atkins is one of the heroes as well. He's actually really good as well. He might be slow, but he has the block shed and power move that high, which people usually don't have. We got Justin Houston. Good block shed, really bad pass rushing, really slow, not gonna be usable. And then Malcolm Jenkins. Now the zone will get to 99, the speed will get to 91. Card overall is good, not great. And then we got Charles Woodson as the final card. Uh, we already saw him. I'm not gonna go over the stats here, but he's gonna probably he's gonna be the best corner back in the game for a decent amount of time. 94 speed, gonna get to about a gonna get a 99 man and about a 95 zone. Gonna be a great card, but not not gonna be um he's not gonna be overshadowed for a long time. So don't don't think that if you buy him you're gonna be stuck. And he's a cornerback, so you know you have up to four of those on the field at once. So you'll be fine there. Then we got the store offers here. As you guys can see, we have the Zero Chill Fantasy Bundles here. We got the Muttville Bundle, the Sub-Zero Packs. These bundles are expensive, right? That's going to be 100 bucks right there for that whole pack. It looks good and all, but again, you probably get a better value picking up some coins. But you get the 85 plus, you get five of them. You get 15K Snow Quick Sells, and you get the Zero Chill Fantasy Bundles as well, which is the nine. You're going to have to wait and see how those end up being. You guys can see the Random Present Pack is 10,000. That's 10,000 snow. That's going to be a lot. That's going to be a ton of snow right there. And here's my issue with, the 10, with that 10,000 snow for the random. The medium 7K and small. So more than likely, if you opened up like 20 of these in years past the way it was, you maybe, if you're lucky, pull like one or two to maybe three larges. So essentially, it would cost you 200,000 snow to pull two or three of these, which is about, let's round to 100,000 snow. So you have a 100,000 deficit. Even if you pull a bunch of these and some of these, you're still kind of short. Now, unless they implement extra larges, which would make this more profitable, but currently, you only have one chance to pull something that will increase your value on this pack with two losses here so it's, it's going to be tough i mean if they imp implement like an extra large or maybe it'll be good but i just don't see yourself i see i feel like you're losing a bit but again we have to wait and see on these things and we got the hot cocoa and the beast food and then the 80 snow now we do also have training offers which is exciting we usually don't get that so 81 plus with 1500 i like this one right here though the 40 4500 training for a random present you got some players in your binders that you want to just quick sell you don't want to combine or clean just quick sell them open up some random presents you have 10 available maybe you can hit some larges there instead of using snow but yeah, I mean, that was pretty quick, but that's pretty much everything. I wanted to get that out as you know, soon as possible. A lot of info to go over. I don't want to drag it, but hopefully you guys did enjoy. Hopefully you guys are ready for tomorrow's drop. I'll try to get like two to three videos out tomorrow on some of the stuff on this tomorrow, depending, despite the situation. But uh, yeah, like the video, comment down below, uh, turn on the noti bell. And of course, if you guys want a chance to uh, be shouted out, you guys know the deal. And heading over to my reserve, use code Poodle, 15% off. Thank you for watching. I'm out.